Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jizzy J, and um, I just wanted to let you know that um, the summer is coming to an end, and um, I want to thank all all of you for um, shout out to the people that subscribe, watching my videos, and all that stuff. Uh, I want to give you a big thanks. Uh, summer was pretty incredible. Um, I'm looking forward to um, more content next year. I mean, I, I'll still make content, but like, it's not gonna be like as like you know, as, like, daily as possible. So instead, I'm going to make, you know, YouTube SSRs now instead of stream SSRs. I've managed to do that for the whole 17th season and um, haven't got around to it yet. And that's the first thing. Second of all, another 2v2 is coming back. This is retribution for me missing the summer of 2v2. So hooray for that. Um... That makes me moist and smile and, you know, yeah. So anyways, um, that's happening. I've been, um, recently trending on, um, on, um, Dokkan Battle, which is surprising to me. I thought it wasn't going to be a really big hit, but it's hit with YouTube gaming, so I didn't, I didn't really, what did I really expect? I didn't expect to become famous off of Dokkan. I mean, I am very diverse, but, you know, yeah, as you can see, la-dee-da, or is it la dee fucking da I don't remember, but it was that. So then, you know, here's my profile and stuff. Um, this is my profile right here. If you want to take a screenshot of it, that's fine. Hopefully you can understand it, because I put it at 480 uh, pixels, so that I have more time to record and do more content. And, um... You see, life is not easy, you know, being, like, a teenager and still manage to record YouTube content. Because I got a barbecue business. I've told, I don't know if I told y'all this, but I have a barbecue business, and, um, we get pretty busy here. That's why at times I can't, um, stream. I'll be making the barbecue sauce, or, um, I'd be wrapping the uh, the Filipino rolls or all that stuff. That's why you would always hear background noises. So just to uh, clarify that. Yeah, I don't live by myself. I'm like 16. I'm turning 17 in like three months. So, you know, you got to look forward to that. To that. And um, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, that's the thing I wanted to clear up, you know, here's my Discord, got a J1, here's the, um, the tag, um, make sure if you want to add my Discord, you got to use a username and the tag, so, you know, that's whatever, so, that's all I got to say, you know, yeah, la, 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 yep, and that's pretty much it, um, did I just log out? You're fucking shitting me. God fucking damn it. Alright, hold on for a second. Alright, I'm back. Jesus Christ. Alright, what did he say? Alright, cool, fuck you too then. So yeah, that's really it, you know, this is my Discord, you know, yada yada yada. So if you want to collab with me, I'll just, i actually change my YouTube uh, about description and just put my Discord in there too. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it, and uh, there's nothing I could really, like, think about besides that. Yeah. For example, there there is a lot of people that help me throughout, like, you know throughout this channel it was like one of the main incoming guys you know because before i had like dongering and yasu and them well mobily you know not not like i don't i didn't collab with them i never collabed with them but you know i haven't collabed with them but you know it can happen you know but i was in their clan at that one point also another thing uh he was also, you know, we were high school friends. We knew each other in person, so we know 
we know we know what's up and he was also part of the dong ring clan thing so that's another thing to po- that's another thing i'm pointing out here and okay so that's one and then there's like you know other people that like that didn't like they collabed with me but like at at expected times like um one of them one of them was uh gaming with boss uh gaming with boss was um uh he's he's in the uni- he's in the US but he's not in my state he's in some other like eastern middle like central whatever we even exchanged numbers it's the craziest thing in the world you know yeah besides dark link you know the guy he was the other only person that managed to get my cell phone number so shout out to him uh julian uh he's another shout out because um he may act like you know random and stuff but we have um i think he was the first bloons player i've ever went against besides you know dark link besides dark link i think he's the first bloons player i've ever played against so that's a shout out to him um And then there was a new and coming one. Uh, his name is uh, Chipper fifteen oh three. Is we'll just call him Chipper fifteen oh three for short. Um, he recently just you know collabed with me, and uh, what we did was we did a few races in Dokkan battle. So he was the second benefit for my uh, Dokkan battle gameplay. You know I made it a series, and I'm still going to stick with it. But for now, it's going to get it's going to lay a little low until, you know, it's going to lay a little low until um like one of one of the four breaks or maybe all the breaks start like uh, Thanksgiving break, winter break, spring break and then classically the the final break. And by the final break, I mean I graduate. So I'm graduating this year. So I want to thank um I want to thank all of the people that I shouted out and I want to thank to all my subscribers and the people that viewed my videos. Uh y'all were great, you know. I've seen uh I've actually seen um people that had more subscribers than me like times like ti- times 10 Kyle Ken Oh god, jeez. Okay, okay, I'm kicking in. So, um yeah, I there's like people that had 10 times my subscribers. or maybe like the thousand maybe I don't know. Uh they've watched my videos. I give a shout out to them. Um I think one of the main ones is I I I've did research. I did my research. Um there's this YouTube channel called MJTV. It's supposed to be like a FIFA sports channel. It's like a sports channel but it only does like it only focuses on soccer. Uh shout out shout out for him for uh, watching my channel somehow. And shout out to my Wi-Fi yo cuz it sucks. Well, that's all I got to say. And um if there's any background noises, you know, let's play a game. For every background noise you hear, I take a shot. No, I'm just kidding. But I have drank though, so, you know, that fixes everything. <sighs> This is one of the most serious talks I've ever had. So, um yeah. It's I know it's crazy but you know I'm just I I you know it's hard for me at times for I don't know. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got and um Yeah, so I have a Discord now. I just signed up like a month ago, so you know. Yeah. And if I do manage to become famous on YouTube then I I guess, you know. This is the way to start it, I guess, you know. I don't usually get this much of a start, you know. Cuz you've got like you got fake drama on one side and then you got like the people that are really hated on the other side. And then there's like the very 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 well loved ones, but they don't get paid attention anymore. Like I think one of the people that was very very loved and they still are to this day was like I Dubs and um P- uh no, uh Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, those people, but they don't really get any more attention. 
So, you know, yeah. I think the old, yeah, there's like, there, oh, there's even like Ryan Higa, Smosh. That's because they, I don't think they've ever gotten into any YouTube dramas. I think like the only ones that have not gotten into any trouble is Smosh, um, Ryan Higa, um, there is a few other ones, but I can't really find them. Maybe Filthy Frank was one of them. Yeah, Filthy Frank was actually one of them. Yeah, Filthy Frank was, yep, yep, one of them. Um, you know. I might be wrong, but, you know, I'm not smart. I'm in high school, so I, I think that's my excuse. You know. Well, it's really all I got, so, you know. Yeah, I'm 16, bro. It's, it's really weird and ironic that, um, you know. I felt like I was held in an experiment, but, like, you know, it's weird. So, yeah. Let's see what happens this year. This was year 11. Now we're going to year 12. So I'm going to call this year, I'm going to call this era, so this is the end of the beginning. Now we're going to go to the era which I call the final push. The final push is my senior year, and um, that's coming in hot. So um, yesterday I got my um, school registration packets and stuff. Uh, we got to do it by Monday and all that other BS. So now... We're going to make the final push, and let's see what happens. This can be a success, or this can be a fail. So, I, you know, this is not a rant, really. This is just me, just, you know, just saying what I got to say, you know. And also, um, it's because, um, it's because I'm in Livermore right now, and, you know, all this crazy stuff. So, um... Yeah. Yeah, so I'm always on Discord and all that crazy stuff, you know. So yeah, that's pretty much it and um Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> was I? No, no, no. You know, it's really hard. Because this is actually unscripted. That's when you know, like, with, with bundles of silence, you know it's crazy. You know, it's been 14 minutes. So I guess, you know, I have enough time for uh, for monetizing my video. No, I'm just kidding. This is, this is not gameplay, so I'm not going to monetize this video. But I'm just saying, though... I don't think y'all heard it, but, you know, it was just quick snaps. Quick snaps and a car passing by. Cook security group. Oh, okay. So, that's really all I got to say, really. Um, so, main, so my point. So, yes, this 14-minute this video was just my essay. And here is my claim, which I'm going to state as my conclusion paragraph. My conclusion paragraph says, in my claim... That um, that this has been a crazy year. We've hit some massive views. Well, in like a video. The massive, the biggest video that I've ever hit was um, I think it was um, 
it was the one with the six hours because that was the longest video and the biggest YouTube video that I've ever uploaded. It sounds like more, more, more duration of the video or stream equals more views. I don't think that would be the case, but if that's what it takes, then, you know, I got to do what I got to do. But otherwise, I don't really think that's the point, and I don't think that's the case. So, um, that's really all I got to say. Um, yeah, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing, you know. I don't ask for likes and subscribe. I'm doing this for fun. I mean, if there was a second purpose, it to be it's to be making money. But, you know, I just do it for fun. I don't ask for subscribers. I don't ask for likes. I don't care if you dislike it. I don't care if you like it. I don't care if you subscribe because, you know, me and my friends, we we I'm doing this for fun, honestly. The final push, though, after the final push, it's going to hit different. But the final push is me taking a little more time on my YouTube to do more stuff. Because this is just the beginning. And now we're going to hit deep and deep and deep to the point we're going to like, we're going to get really deep. Because, you know, I'm ready to take on, um, I'm ready to take what it takes and, um, I'm signing myself up for, um, the best or I'm signing myself up for the worst. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to let any of you down. Um, I will try my best to not mess up in any of my streams or any of my YouTube videos, even though that's going to be highly unlikely. And I'm just going to be like, hey, you, you, you hypocritical per per fuck person. And I'm just going to be like, you see, Wi-Fi, you know, that's why I gave shout out to my Wi-Fi because it freaking sucks. So, <sighs> yeah, I'm 16. I can't, I can't believe I yelled if I can't believe I yelled out it freaking sucks in 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 a truck. I'm not going to say whose cuz you know that's just plain old embarrassing, you know. And the face reveal gimmick. Um I'm still keeping that in intact because um after the final push is over, I want you to see who I truly am on the outside because you know what i am on the inside but now i want you to see me on the outside and um you know so i ki i will keep wearing the mask and i will keep hiding myself until the final push is over when the final push is over everything will completely change and maybe my focus can is going to be very equal. But otherwise, I'm going to focus more on fun and less about the money. Because everyone's goal on YouTube is to get subscribers, get likes, and try to be the most famous thing on the internet. But I can't care about that. I hate social... I can't stand... Like, I don't do Twitter... I don't do Instagram. I used to do Instagram, but only for the stupid things. I have Facebook. I have Discord. And I have Snapchat. That's about it. You can only follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, and Discord. But I will release my Snapchat after the final push. And then my Facebook, I forget, but, you know, so-and-so. It really depends for me, but mainly, you know, yeah. So that's going to break. So really all I'm saying is I care about um, the fun. Like, I care more. So honestly, my point, you know, my real, real claim, you know, my second, my second claim which might be the same exact thing is just I care more 
about me, my entertainment, and my content than money, views, and likes. I don't care who sees it. I don't care who likes it. I don't care who subscribes. As long as I'm having fun with my friends or with the people that, um, or with the people that, like, you know, that wants to collab and, you know, just talk it out and, you know, that's, that's, like, all I care about. I don't care. Yeah, I, I just, I just don't care about views. I just don't care about, like, getting subscribers. I don't care about getting likes. I don't care about money. That, that's just my main point. And just, like, other, like, otherwise, you know. Yeah, because I act like I don't try. It's because I don't, and I only care about my, I only care, you know, and for the people that watch this type of content, there are two things I want to say. How can you stand this type of content? And thank you for standing with it some way or somehow, because trust me. The most dedication I put into my series is NBA Live Mobile. But no one ever watches it, so I was just like... Well, that's okay, you know? At least I can make it a private thing. And then there's Clash Royale, Dog Combat, and all that other stuff. Um, I don't really pay attention to it a lot, but it gets me views, so I'm like, okay. I also collab with my friends on it, so it just makes it even better for me, you know? It's fun. And, you know... I have I have subscribers that will stick with me no matter what happens. So I give them a shout out for that. Um you know. Um it's like having a chance to do this. When I was in the 6th grade, I always dreamed of making YouTube videos. But since technology evolved, it's a way, way too easy to make YouTube videos now. And, um, yeah. So, it's just, you know. You know. It's pretty serious for me, you know. Because I... Because at times, we would be very shocked if, like, if we hit, like, so many amounts of views, you know? But that's pretty much about it. And, um... Yeah. That's all I want to say. So, it's just, this is just a two-word claim. And that is to say, thank you. I really thank all of you... From the bottom of my heart, you know, this world is like a blank canvas, honestly. And, um, you know, my parents are very great. I'm very grateful on my parents. I'm very grateful on my sister, um, her boyfriend, even though he defends me for all the times that my sister has been a pain in the ass to me, but that's okay. I'm still grateful for her of being a pain in the ass to me. I'm grateful for my friend Darkling, Gaming with Boss, Chipper1503, Julian, you know, those people. Um, you know, those guys. Um, I actually want to thank for the people that bullied me so that I can, like, yeah, there's, like, people that bullied me before, but I give them a shout-out because, you know. I felt like being bullied was one of the best things that ever happened in my life, honestly. Like, when I was in the third grade, I would always, um, I'd be on the playground. And, um, there's this one guy that always bullied me. There was one he, there was one time where he pushed me almost almost at the end of the stairs I fell off but I managed to um you know but I managed to like somehow pull through I, I was just like eh okay 
I didn't really care at all. Like, when he pushed me, he almost, I almost fell down the stairs, but I was like, eh, okay, cool. So I just went to the other side of the playground, you know. Yeah, that happened and all that other crazy stuff. And, you know, it makes me shocked of how, like, you know, how that works, you know. Second grade, third grade, you know. And middle school was the hardest time for me. Um, honestly, middle school was not easy as you see, as you think it is. Yeah, middle school. Yeah, 26 minutes. So middle school, okay, middle school was not the easiest time of my life. Um, I struggled with depression once. <laughs> nice. And, um, struggled with depression once. I joined a gang at that time too. And I got into some serious trouble with the school. And, you know, my parents got involved and all that other gimmicks. Um, so that happened. Yeah, like, I was in San Diego at the time. I was not here up in um, Oakland at the time. So, you know. I wonder how it's, at times, you know, people would deal with this type of stuff, but, you know, I can't figure it out, so, yeah. Like, during high, so then, high school happened. High school, I was called the new student, because on the first day of school, my sister was the only one that got accepted into the school because she filled hers out in time, but she didn't. But they didn't fill out mine on time, so I had to miss the first day of school. So then on the second day of school, I joined. I I went into the school, and um, had to miss my first period. And then we came into the school during second period and um they're like oh hi and i'm just like hi and then they showed me my classes i okay and then they showed me around the school uh there's a girl that showed me around the school um at the time and um yeah so then she showed me around the school i went to my second period and then um And then, you know, and then my third period, uh, my third period is my orchestra class. And yes, I'm a violinist. I play music, but I also have a guitar, piano and drums. I used to play the drums, but I don't do that type of thing anymore. Um, guitar is just whatever and piano is just whatever. But the violin, I have spent focus on it since middle school because middle school, it was the first class that I've had during, you know, that time. So that happened, um, so I had some serious focus on it. I was very well loved by the orchestra community. The reason is, is because I was the new student, and everyone was shook because I was the new student, and you know. And, um, and then during lunch, um, I, me and my sister didn't know what to do. She was a junior at the time, and I was a freshman. So we decided to um, hang out together. And um, we decided to hang out by ourselves, um, you know. And then, a few, and then the next day later, she met, um, she met a new friend. Her name was Lala, and um, she was all. Um, my sister did volleyball at the time, like during high school. She did volleyball, so um, she was part of the volleyball team, and um, they had their own form called. Um, they were the volleyball squad. They were very, very well known. There was like a lot of people that know them well, and. Um, They've been given, like, mad respect and stuff, you know? Even my sister. My sister was very, very well-loved. 
in um, the volleyball community. The volleyball community was like, you know. So after my sister graduated, she went to Fresno State. So I was alone for junior year. So I thought, okay. Okay, this, this life should be a lot easier. But it really didn't. I was depressed for so many multiple times to the point where my parents got involved with it because I almost attempted suicide at the um at the school and um I went to a mental facility for it um we acted like it was an asylum but you know it's not that it's not that all bad you know um I'm not willing to say the name because you know controversy and I don't do that stupid shit so yeah watching the battery drain go down um st while I'm staring at cars in front of me um yeah. so yeah that happened um I was in the mental facility I managed to um I managed to get like their kicks, their Instagrams, and um, yeah, all that stuff. And um, there was a lot of uh, diversity there. And I respect diversity because, you know, diversity is just, you know, I respect people from all races, all, you know. I may act stupid at times, but, but, but it's because, you know, I know their limits and, you know. I can break them for my enjoyment only if it's my sister. Everyone else is, um, everyone else is, um, I treat them the same way that I would. You know, act all nice and then act whatever. And then when they get, and then to the point where, like, they would lose it, I, I stop immediately and just stop there. But for my sister, however, I would do it until, you know, it gets annoying and then I would laugh. And I'd be like, it's just a prank, bro. And she'd get all triggered. And uh, same way with my mom, actually, kind of. Because, you know, I'm a teenager. I'm not perfect. So uh, my mom would, like, push me around all the time. I'd be like, what do you want, Joy, huh? And, they're just, and, and then my mom would just be like, she would give me the freaking the death stare, just like her eyes open and just like her mouth, her lip. She does like that. Uh, have y'all ever? Uh, do y'all know Toon Link when he does that angry face where he just looks like at his right with like with like big eyes and just the angriest, the angriest mouth ever? Just that. That's what my mom does. I'm just like. All right. I either get bumped. I don't know. And then my dad is just like very critical. So I said, nope, 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 nope. But there was a few times I had sassed my dad back and it was like funny. It was the funniest thing in the world. Well, anyways. Life is different when, um, you know, yeah, life is different, you know. And also junior year, there was a lot of benefits that I got from from it, which is um, I've been um, I've been gaining consciousness of whatever you know. Cause I wasn't a douchebag, but I keep learning and learning and learning, and um, one of the things that I mainly learned is what I call my new philosophy. And I can't figure out a name for it. But this philosophy goes to, like, all the women in the world, apparently, you know. Because there's a lot of women that, like, that are very nice, and there's a lot of women that are, like, very douchey. But I'm just, like, I think I figured out what's supposed... To, I figured out what women are supposed to be like. Because now, in my philosophy, I think all women are beautiful, no matter what. Like, whether it's physical appearance or personality or, you know, whatever. 
And this is coming from an autist, you know. I was born with Asperger's syndrome, so just be like, Oh, this guy's not autistic. You just call yourself that because you, you're depressed. And I'm just like, I'm not depressed. And yes, I have autism. My parents confirmed it for me, and I'm sticking with it. Yeah, I'm sticking with it. So, yeah. Um, I have made very many... I have, I have very many friends at school, you know. I mean, there's a few people that hate me, but, like... I'm very well respected at the at the school, so you know. <sighs> All my high school friends are very very cool, like that. Like they're very chill, and you know, some of them are like salty. Some of them are like drum, like like very very shy, and then some of them are like like one of the nicest people you ever meet in the world. And I've. I have met uh, many, many types of people, like, so many, of different types of every stereotypical way ever. I've met the guy that doesn't give a fuck, I have met the nicest person in the world, I met the saltiest person in the world, you know, and all that other crazy stuff. I met the really emotional one, I really met, I met the, um, the whatever, and, um, you know, it gets very personal really quick. And, um, you know, if I wasn't, so really, what, how did I come up with this type of video? Um, easy. All I had to do was not bring a school ID to a national lab. That's all I had to do. I just forgot to bring my national, I forgot to bring my school ID to a national lab. So now I'm stuck inside this car until 1 p.m. and um, have a serious conversation with all with all the people that are watching this. Um, yeah, so mad respect to all of you. Um, it's really all I gotta say, you know. It's crazy, you know. It's like a like where if you're if you're where I am. It's like, we're, like, we're still, like, it's a lab surrounding, but it's, like, a desert surrounding at the same time, too. Because one, because I'm on the side where it's, like, a full lab, and then I'm on the other side where it's, like, a full, complete desert. And you know how that is. If you're trying to figure out where, I, where, where I'm, so, my main hint is just that I'm in California, so, you know. If you fly out to California and try to meet me, uh, try to meet me in near Oakland. Because you'll most likely, you most likely find me there. And, uh, yeah. Ooh. Ugh. Jeez. Oh, this feels great, you know. Yeah, being stuck in a car sucks. Yeah, but I, was, I stick with it. It's... I've been doing this for 38 minutes now, and, you know, still running, running, running. So I couldn't really care less, and, um, yeah. That's really all I gotta say, so, yeah, just, um, thank you, and, um, and, um, Here's another thing that I'm going to just dissect for all of you. Um, my outro, which is stay happy and stay beautiful. Um, this goes out for everyone, actually. Like, even guys, too, because since they think they're beautiful and stuff, you know. I support gay people. I act like I don't in real life, but I actually do support gay people. And my goal, my love goal is to kiss a girl. And then after that, I'm fine with whatever. I can, like, kiss a guy or whatever, you know? But my main goal is to kiss a girl first. So that, you know, that I feel proud of it. And then, you know, and then I can just kiss guys or whatever, you know, whatever. That's really pretty much, that's pretty much my goal for now, you know, for my love life. That's my main goal. Otherwise, you know, yeah. I have an open sexuality, but the problem is, it's just, I want to kiss someone, I just want to kiss a girl first, 
And then, uh, and then, yeah, then I would just have, like, an open sexuality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so when I say stay happy and stay beautiful, I've said it to so many people. Like, literally. I've said it to guys, i said it to girls. But girls get more affection than guys. So it's just, you know, like girls react way more to that than guys. And there's another thing that I say and and I tell them not to take it the wrong way. I'm actually not going to say it. It's pretty weird and um I've already like, you know, I've you think I've said enough, but I'm hell of a long way to go. I'm long ways to go. And um, this world is different than what you think it actually is. And, um, you know, because you're just what you're just looking at my discord. You probably already got it by now. And, um, you know, and then you're probably going to accept my request. And I said, yep, I'll accept, I'll accept that request because, you know, I'm Jizzy J and, you know, I don't really give a fuck. So, it's been 41 minutes. 45, 56, 57, 58, 59, 42 minutes. So, let's recap what happened in the last 42 minutes. So, first of all, I don't care about money. I care about my friends, my viewers. I don't care if I have likes, subscribes. I don't care how many views I get, you know. Sometimes I could get shocked because, you know, it's very highly unlikely, but, you know. Well, views, okay, now that's, no, I'm just saying hypocritical stuff. Uh, I, I care barely about the views, but otherwise likes, dislikes, subscribers, I don't really care. Um, that's one, to give a shout out to those type of people. Two, the friends that helped me out over the years. Um, they're great, and I'm very fond of them. Um, three. Um, my life has been one hell of a run. It really has. And then my fourth is... <sighs> people are, you know, this world is great. And, um... And something's going to happen... Which will cause the end of the world. Because according to Revelations or whatever. If, if y'all are Christian then y'all can relate to this. Um, the end is coming actually. And um, we just don't know when and we just don't know how. We just know that the world is ending and you know. It was like Revelations chapter 20. Because, you know, that's really all, really, that's basically what, I, th that's the, like, the only thing that I believe in the Bible is that the end is coming. And it's shown us why, actually. When you take a look at it, there is some, the end is coming, and it's, it's true. The end will, the end will begin. Just don't know when, or don't know how. And, um, you know, if you actually think I'm crying, <laughs> ooh -wee, you're in a long, long, you're in the wrong, wrong type of position. I mean, this is a deep video, but, but not deep enough to the point where I actually break down and like, you know, just break down emotionally. <sighs> I keep getting... I feel like I keep getting nosebleeds, but I'm actually not. So I always constantly check my nose every freaking time. Because I've gotten two nosebleeds for the past two days. It's 
So yeah, that's really all I gotta say. So yeah, let me say the outro once again. So use my Discord. You probably already got it by now, so I don't really care about it. So yeah, um, stay happy and stay beautiful. And uh, I'll see you guys um, next time when I stream.